All right, thank you everyone for joining the press conference. Sorry for the delay. We're with our champion, Uber Herkosh, and we will begin with Ubaldo. Uh, well, first of all, congratulations. Even if you beat uh, my compatriot and friend of yours, uh, how did you surprise him? What was the key of your success? Uh, something that maybe he didn't expect. You were playing with much more variety than him. A uh, drop shot, coming to the net, uh, changing uh, uh, pace. Uh, was that the strategy? Thank you very much. I mean, the, yeah, like to be able to to win against Yannick, you need to you need to come up with some some really good uh, good stuff. I mean, he's an amazing player and and amazing person as well. I mean, such a great competitor, and uh, I mean, he's gonna have amazing future. But uh, yeah, obviously I was I was trying to stay as solid as I can because he can hit the balls as so hard and like he he's if you let him do that like he's just gonna run around. So I was just trying to to keep his pace and uh, and be able like to to fight for each ball. That's what I was trying to do there. Craig, Ruby, um, firstly, can you explain what it felt like? When um, Sinner's return went out on that match point, what did it feel like to be winning the biggest title of your career? And also, in that second set, there was points to go up five, love, and he came into the back into the set. How concerned were you at that stage? So, two parts there. Yeah, I mean, I was super happy that that he missed this shot at the end i mean that was i mean super super happy that i was able to to leave that that biggest trophy of my of my life so far so that's something special for me and uh, yeah i mean i had chances to to go up uh, 5-0 in the in the second set and then he came back he started to play to play better and uh, uh, I got a little bit nervous, and uh, I mean, he he took the chance and uh, was was very close there. So I mean, I was I mean, he came back, and I was just trying to 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 fight to to get my level higher to to be able to to win uh, some extra points there. Steve Wine, maybe congratulations and well deserved. Um, with the big three absent from this tournament, I'm wondering what your thoughts are about. Uh, the way the next generation fared overall in this tournament, including yourself, I guess, and, and what uh, the, uh, it says about this group and the future of men's tennis. Yeah, I mean, like uh, with the big three absent here in this uh, in this tournament, I think like all the all the next gen guys were trying the, their best to 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 play their their best game to compete as hard as they can. I mean, hopefully the the spectators enjoyed it and liked it. Like, I mean, like Yannick is uh, Yannick is amazing competitor and player and. Uh, I mean, like, I think he's he's great for the sport and also, like, a couple of other guys. So, I mean, hopefully, I mean, it's, uh, it's not to me, like, not for me to, to judge, but hopefully, like, all the all the people enjoyed watching and, and, and supporting us players uh, play here in Miami. Okay, we'll go to Bill Simons. Uh, great congratulations. Uh, well done. Um, Sviatek, of course, won the French Open, and now about five months or so later, another huge title for for Poland. Uh, back back in Poland, uh, Fibok said this is a thrilling adventure for all of us. It's uh, just wonderful. What just put it in the context of of your native country, what it means to you, and and coming off the win by Sviatek in, in Paris. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I was super proud of Iga. What she has done there in French Open was was amazing. I think that uh, that gave the belief for for us, for like, for me myself, and uh, on the younger players in Poland that, that it's possible to to win those big titles. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully, like, with 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 my game, I can also like ins inspire some. Uh, some some people in Poland and hopefully they they enjoyed it there and uh, yeah I mean super super proud to be Polish and and uh, I'm thankful for all the support that I get. Michelle, congratulations. Um, I have 
Two part question. First of all, if you could just describe uh, how did you find the atmosphere here? You know, normally it's many, many more people here and everything, but how did you find the atmosphere with the fans and in general the tournament uh, over the two week period? And then my second question is, uh, you played uh, doubles with Yannick. I'm just wondering, he, he said on the court that you're his best friend on the tour. Uh, what is your relationship with him? How did you first meet each other and what is your relationship? Thank you. Uh, so, I mean, I think like the, the atmosphere here, like at the, at the final, at the later stages of the tournament was, was great. I mean, the, the people were loud and cheering for us. Obviously, it would be nicer to have the, the full capacity of the stadium, but, uh, but it, felt, it, felt, it felt nice, really nice. I mean, I really enjoy, enjoy Florida, Miami, so that was great. And uh, I mean, regarding your second question, I probably like hit with Yannick, like on the challenger in uh, in Italy, like uh, when I first got into top hundred. So that was like maybe like three years ago, and uh, or even a little bit more. And uh, I mean, he was just like uh, I think he he might have like lost in qualities there, but like he was practicing every single day. Then I, I was seeing him like in 2019, like uh, practicing in Monte Carlo, then getting some some wildcards and playing well in the ATP event. So like he was just like he was just practicing there. I mean, always seemed super nice and like he's just like very very professional and he really wants to wants to wants to improve and get better. So I mean, he's super super cool guy and I mean I wish him all the best for the for the future. I mean. Chris. Hubert, congratulations. It was an amazing week. Thank you. I want to ask about making it to the top 20. And I wanted to ask you if you felt like this was perhaps the best you've ever played. I know the result was the best result you've ever gotten, but do you think that something clicked and made this the best tennis you've ever played? Yeah, I think I, I played one of the best things I, I ever played. I, I was solid throughout the, the whole tournament and I was able to 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 get through get through each round and, and uh, was even more pumped for the for the next round. So I think that's uh, that's something special uh, special for me and uh, yeah my thing is getting better. I mean we work hard on it with, with, with my coach C B and uh, super happy that, that that it happened here like yeah, we still need to, to improve a couple of things and, and just try to, to get better each day. All right, we'll go to Steven. Hey, Hubie, great win. Um, just so much congrats. Today I thought I saw like a bit more variety in your game and especially, you know, you came to the net a couple of times during some pretty big points and had really nice volleys. How happy with you um, or are you with that side of your game and just the way you handled the big pressure moments today? Yeah, I needed to compete really hard today. I mean, Yannick's an amazing player, so so I just had to like mix up something uh, a couple of times and uh, to to change the rhythm. And because uh, obviously, like his ground strokes are are super powerful, and he like he can like push you out of the court. So I didn't didn't want this this to happen. So I was just trying to to I mean stay stay aggressive and then be able like to to fight for for each ball. We'll go back to Craig. Maybe it's obviously this is the biggest win of your career. To win a title like this is not something you're used to. It's new for you and it's a great experience. So how do you come down from the high mm -hmm. for going into your next tournament and not get carried away with this? Because so often we can see where a player has a big upset win or wins a big title and the next event or the next match, they suffer a bit of a letdown. Mm -hmm. How would you do? You think you can counteract that? Yeah, like for sure, I need to, to put some like work to to counter counteract it a bit. Because uh, I mean, obviously, like super pumped now after like a big, uh, huge tournament for me. Like that's my that's my biggest title ever, and uh, so. I think I, I mean I just need to take it step by step and just to I mean try to be, just be the same just to just to improve every single day and and try to get better because because all the guys are working and um, and I need to get better to to be able to to beat them. 
Okay, back to Chris. Hubert, in, in, your, in your mind, in your own opinion, has what you can accomplish against the best players in the world now that you're in the top 20, now that you're a Masters champion, has it changed? Do you, do you now think that more is possible than maybe you did at the beginning of the season? Yeah, I, I had a big, a big belief in myself, like like from the beginning of the season. But like winning the the tournament like this, like gives you extra, extra I think like motivation and self confidence that okay, like you you were able to to do it. Like you you came through like some really like hard moments here, and you just like try to, yeah, do do it. Okay, last two in English. We'll go to Michael. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, congratulations, uh, Hubie, on your victory uh, today. Uh, um, is it a coincidence that you, you know, have won two tournaments this year in Florida? You're undefeated. Is there any explanation for this? Yeah, I mean, like, last year I spent so much time in Florida. I was here, like, almost half of the year. So, like, that's... Uh, that was, I think, pretty, like, I mean, we're working hard and I think I'm used to the conditions. So that's, I think, could have been, like, part of the part of the success I, I had here in Florida. Okay, we're going to wrap English up with Daniela. Hubert, congratulations. Great tournament. Thank you for Thank being you. with us on W Radio. It's really a pleasure. So my question is, this year, 2021, you have been unbidden in Florida winning all of your matches. How does this shape your expectations for future matches? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear the, the last part of your question. Sorry for that. How does this shape your expectations for future matches? So, I mean, obviously, like, uh, now be lifting the, the biggest trophy of, of my life so far, like, I... I mean, I would just try to still like get better each day and and try to to work on the, on, on things with with CB to to be a better player, better competitor. So so I'll just yeah, I mean, focus on on the stuff that we're doing. So I mean, we're just trying to trying to improve each day, and and that's uh, yeah. This this tournament was the was the effect of that. Like I mean, so super super happy with it.